God of War Ragnarok recently revealed new combat gameplay and some details about combat gameplay via Game Informer. There were also some new images to go along with that and the game's cover art has been revealed and it looks amazing, plus some other details as well we're going to go over. So here are 8 different things that have been revealed about the game recently. As you can see in the background, new gameplay of the upcoming game have been revealed and it shows us what to expect in terms of combat. One of the key features of the new game will be improved flowing combat. The battle axe and chain blades increase maneuverability and power, jump attacks deal with enemies no problem and they look super smooth, and although there is unlikely to be an actual jump button, you will still be able to jump across ledges and stuff like that, and the environment will be more interactive when attacking enemies. One of the biggest combat changes is to your triangle button, which previously recalled your axe or did nothing if you already had your axe in hand, but now triangle attacks are changing to something new called weapon signature moves. Depending on whether you have the Leviathan axe or the Blades of Chaos readied, Kratos will now infuse the sharpened steel with ice or fire. These elemental moves are called Frost Awaken and Whiplash, and do extra damage by freezing or incinerating your aggressors. Shields have also improved in the new game and have a choice of two options. The Dauntless Shield, used for more offensive players, that is designed for parrying. Successive parries charges the shield until you can unleash a devastating smash that tosses and stuns enemies. On the other hand, the Stonewall Shield is designed for tanks and blocking attacks, Successive blocks with the shield will increase its energy until you can unleash a powerful ground pulse attack and there will be other shields available in the game and it's all about finding the right type of shield that balances out the gameplay for you. Next a small bit of info, the game's cover art has been revealed and you can see it here and it looks pretty cool. You can let me know what you think of it in the comments and along with this we have some new screenshots of the game. These are mostly displaying stills of you when you're using your new signature abilities and you can also see one of your shields which is charged up as well. However, one of the things we can make out from these images is a look at the new user interface compared to the old one and it's getting mixed reviews so far with some saying it looks too bland but others think it's just heading towards a more Elden Ring style minimalistic approach. Lastly, one final image of the game and it's unknowingly revealed that the Ravens collectibles will be making a return to the God of War game when it releases. God of War Ragnarok releases this year on the 9th of November. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest info on the game leading up to it and plenty of guides and content once it releases. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.